Hello everybody, this is Steve from Old Boy Moto. Well, g'day guys. Hope you're all well out there. It's been a little while since I've put a video up, so I thought I'd get out um, today and just do something. Um, haven't been able to get out to see the police cave or to try and find the police cave, mainly because I have a look at this weather. Um, this is about as good as it gets lately, and um, it's been very cold, it's drizzled, it's wet. I've been putting it off. Um, hoping to get out there this Friday, but I thought I'd just pop into the Burke Museum and just have a look at all the Kelly stuff they got in there today. So I thought I might just take you along. There's the old Beechworth Jail, the original jail. And as you can see, the weather's not much better in Beechworth. Absolutely. So, yeah, so we get a, a lot of interstate people buy um, real estate in Beechworth and move over here. And uh, their biggest gripe is the weather in winter. Yeah, so just inside the museum here, there's like a um, streetscape set up in the back of the museum where it gives you an idea of what Beechworth was like in the old days. You know, you've got places like London House, James, James Ingram's bookstore, which is still in Beechworth. It just gives you an idea of what it was like. It's pretty good. Now, what I'm looking for are the Kelly displays. Yeah, okay, so I managed to find Ned Kelly's death mask and that's the original one that they did after he he was hanged. Um, and what I've found, oh, I haven't found anything else really, there's nothing else in here um, belonging to the Kelly story that I can find, but I'm just at the display of the Burke and Wills um, expedition and they've got quite a bit of stuff here. This is... Um, Burke's Bible, apparently, it was published in 1852. It's been donated to the museum. That's the, his original Bible that went with him on the trip. There's the man himself. And also what they've got is, um, these were penny amounts for the camels that they used, and uh, which hung saddlebags and stuff like that. And here are the original saddlebags, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, it's very thick leather and uh, riveted and so forth. It's amazing that they've survived an expedition like that. Hmm, unbelievable. And uh, it's about all that survives. Um, apparently this is Burke's pistol, but it's only a picture of the pistol. Apparently it's being restored at present, so um, it may well be displayed at a, at a later time, so there you go. Good stuff. Yeah, so this section here looks like a fairly new section and it just has to do with Beechworth, really. Um, this is what a ton of gold looks like. And it's about the people of Beechworth. Very interesting. Yes, so on this brilliant Beechworth day. Anyway, I had a bit of a look around the Burke Museum. There was a lot of stuff there, but stuff that probably didn't interest me too much. I'm not saying that, that uh, it wasn't any good. It was quite interesting, but uh, it didn't really interest me. I was sort of looking for more Kelly stuff. But anyway, we're at uh, the historic precinct. And we've got the historic courthouse and the telegraph office. Seems like they're all open. And I was told by the kind lady at the museum that uh, because I'm a local, I get free entry. So I might take advantage of that and go and have a look at this one. This is the courthouse. Mm. 
Yeah, so here we are inside the courthouse. A pretty amazing place. I've actually been in here once before. Uh, many years ago before they closed it down. Because um, it was still an operating uh, courthouse up to 1989. And um, this is the dock that Kelly stood in. The famous Kelly dock. And uh, yeah, it's a, just a beautiful old building. Uh, made in honey granite. I don't know what the timber is, but I'm sure it would be recorded somewhere. And I would say that this furniture would mostly be original. So, um, here you've got some, a display on what the police were using. Truncheons, locks, leg irons, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so it's quite a bit to look at. Amazing place. Mm. It's amazing when you come in here how the um, floorboards just creak under your feet. It'd be quite noisy with a lot of people walking around. There's one big fireplace in the middle of it, everything. Amazing. And the barrister's room, where we have probably a replica. Yeah, so it's a replica made by Norm Adams. <coughs> it was actually made in the 60s. Very nice. Well done. And here we have all the legal stuff around the Kelly trials and stuff like that, the people that were involved in it. Just a great feeling just being in the same room as the barristers would have used. It's amazing. Probably the same desks. And the size of the doors, absolutely huge. Mm. You know, the widths in these architraves are over a foot. It's amazing. So here we go. This is where the clerk of courts would have sat and the judge would have sat up there and Sir Redmond Barry was the judge during the Kelly trial. Pretty amazing can actually walk up here. It's incredible. Um, public dock up the top there. Don't know if there's access to that. Yeah, it's quite a big yard. Uh, it's quite a big courthouse. Legal books, the library. Amazing. Oh no, it's a bit of a rabbit warren actually. Here's the dock. Looks like I get to stand in it. It's amazing. Yeah, unreal. I don't know whether he would have ever sat down. There's a little stool here on the side here, so if he had of, I'll just check under the seat to see if there's any chewing gum. He might have been chewing gum. And there he is there. Amazing stuff. Just being here gives you a real sense of what it would have been like. And it's a bit of a rabbit warren, as I said. Um, I don't know where this leads to. This could have been a holding cell. This was a female holding cell. Mm, just all lined with boards. Yeah, so couldn't get out. There's quite a bit of room in here, actually. Get an idea of what it was like. 
the granite there, that would have been the male holding cells, so I'd say Kelly would have been in here. Yeah. Oh, God, it frightened the crap out of me. Mm. So they've got a uh, an audio narrative going on up here. But so Kelly sat in here for six days well, while he was doing his trial and stuff like that. So yeah, amazing. Hmm. Yeah, so this is where they would have held people before they've gone out and just let them straight out, straight into the dock. So you'd come out here and just go straight into the dock. Amazing stuff. Really, really good. To have it all still here like this is just amazing. I might just do a bit of a quick flit over here and see what I can find. Um, looks like there's a room over to the right here. And I'm not sure whether you have access upstairs. That would have been the door upstairs. So there's your entrance. And you would come in here and walk into the courthouse. Okay, and oh yeah, so this is the witnesses room, amazing. Hmm, there's an old wheelchair. stuff on the walls that you can read about the Kellys. Heaps of stuff. And a few displays here of different bottles and things like that. Yeah, so these um, plaques on the walls tell the story of different people who have tried here. Pretty good. Mm, don't know how you get up. But I'd say you'd get up through the door that's in behind there, but don't think it's allowed, which is unfortunate. All the timber work in this is just fantastic. It's all been restored. Mm. Amazing. Well, to be honest, this would probably be the most amazing thing I've visited today. And the jury dock. Just terrific. I'm not sure what these are on the corners, but I would imagine that they may have held some sort of lighting, whether they be little lamps or candles or whatever, because there wouldn't have been electric lighting, obviously. Mm. Good stuff. So this is pretty amazing. And uh, the original chair that Redmond Berry sat in. I'm going to park my bum right in it. There you go. I'm sitting in his chair. It's amazing. My feet aren't touching the ground though. There you go. So, as Supreme Judge of this court, I will face the defendant, Edward Kelly, and say to you, you are pardoned, you are free to leave. <laughs> yeah, okay people, what a story, what a place. Fantastic, if you ever get a chance, bring your family up, visit Beechworth, have a look at the courthouse. It's bound to leave a lasting impression. <laughs>